Alright, so in today's video we're going to be working on removing excess midsole on the shoes. So, as you can see, I have, have excess midsole and glue on the shoes. And to remove that, right here, and to remove that, we're going to be using a Dremel tool. So this is just a handheld two-speed portable Dremel. It's Dremel 7700. Uh, I got this on Amazon. It comes with a NICAD battery. It's a 7.2 volt. I uh, got it on Amazon for under 40 bucks, and it came with uh, a few attachments right here. We're, today we're going to be using uh, the standard sander. And then I also bought replacement kit a uh, replacement kit and so this was under 20 bucks and it comes with a bunch of goodies right in here so I got replacement sanders here I got sanding discs here or cutoff wheels here and then just to get all like the little uh, nooks and crannies in the shoe you have an assortment of stuff you got um, different types of sanding uh, tips and then you also have polishers, uh, grinding stones, and uh, these are just like sanders and drills and stuff like that, engravings. So that's what we're working on today. Uh, I'm just going to show you a little bit, I'll probably do a little bit of a time lapse, and uh, let's get it going. So basically the reason why you want to grind off all this stuff is because uh, when you apply fresh glue on it, you want to be able to have the fresh glue adhere to the midsole uh, properly. So Dremel's a good tool. Alright guys, so here it is. Not a full re-glue, we just did the top of the midsole and the bottom of the upper. When that's completely bonded, I'm going to go overnight, I'm going to work on the outsole and then the bottom of the midsole. So 
basically when you apply barge cement you want to apply it in a thin layer and then wait between three to eight minutes I usually go to the max to the eight minute mark if it starts to dry out on you you can get a hair dryer and you can uh, use it on the hot setting and just go all the way around inside the midsole and then you're gonna apply the midsole just slide it right in there and instantaneously it's gonna bond real quickly so you want to make sure that your glue line and I had a problem with one of them you make sure that your glue line is right up against the midsole and then just start pressing in the areas um, usually in the factory they have like a hammer and they hammer down the areas all the way around but you can just use your fingers and you can just you know push it together and it'll bond instantaneously like real good so just as reinforcement I put a shoe stretcher in there and I also tied some shoelaces around it and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty successful midsole swap so again like I said uh, the next, I'm going to do this overnight and then the next day I'm going to go ahead and do the outsole and then the uh, the bottom of the midsole and then lastly I'm going to hit that glue right here on the back tab and then I'll be done.